Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back, man. Welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. Another episode, man. We rocking and rolling. Two episodes in a week, man. That don't usually happen. You know, I usually do one a week, but um, try to pick the content up a little bit. Um, be moving into the into a um into a new space pretty soon. Uh, so I can get, you know, better sound quality and all that good stuff, man. Um, been getting pretty good responses. So, you know, I'm trying to take it, take it up a notch, you know, for the people, for my peoples, you know what I'm saying? But, um, we're going to jump in, man. We're going to jump in. Uh, so Takashi69 and Nikki, Nikki Minaj. They they hit number one on Billboard, you know, and then you know Takashi hit number one on Billboard, you know, and he he made a video celebrating, you know, popping the bottle, him him and him and one of his people popping the bottle, you know, and just saying, you know, even when you blackball me, you can't stop me, you know. So Takashi right now is feeling like. He's above the he's above everything, you know. Um above the law, above being blackballed, you know, everything. Cause it, so before the song he had a song he had put out a couple weeks ago, um, you know, to his knowledge, it should have been number one on Billboard. And um I guess the night before some Taylor Swift song just automatically just just got a bunch of clicks and, and, and uh, you know, download whatever, streams or whatever, and now took over the number one spot. So he felt like, you know, he felt like that was intentionally done for, you know, all the, you know, what whatever he been through and however he got himself out of his jam, you know. Some people call it ratting. He didn't see it that way. So, you know, we're just, we're just, we're just, we'll just go with it. Go at it like that, you know. He didn't see it as right. You know, he felt like he was done dirty by the people he was rolling with. Um, they, they was, they was, you know, forcing him to do things, I'm guessing. Um, and then when he got locked up, you know, you know, was getting at his baby's mom's. And and a lot of times when you when you catch a young dude, that's gonna be his breaking point. You know, you don't want nobody smashing his baby mom. That right there, in itself, is enough to make you know what I'm saying. <laughs> so so he just he he felt betrayed by her by the crew, and um. So he did what he had to do to get himself out. I guess you know that's on him. But, um, you know, since then, you know, he done been spotted where he was living by a little girl on Instagram. So he had to pick up and move. And his lawyers actually, um, I guess, put out a statement. He, you know, did an interview or something like saying that he fears for his safety once he's off a of house arrest because he'll be more accessible. And, you know, he's going to be out more celebrating and trolling and doing what he does, you know, um, coming at people. So... You know his lawyer is his lawyer is just like you know he he may be in in harm's way you know later on down the line when he when he gets uh his full freedom you know he he can freely roam about the country and and wherever you know but uh so I guess. We'll say congrats to him for getting number one on the billboard, what he wanted. Um, and, and he was telling his fans, you know, the, um, I think it was last week, how to go about it. Like, you know, don't purchase no no more than four downloads. That's the legal limit that you could purchase. And he got a bunch of fans. Um, he got a bunch of fans. So if all of his fans um, streamed his, his, his – uh, streamed his joint four times. Dude, I mean, just say he got, say he got four million fans. 
and they streamed it four times and bought it four times or whatever. You know, that's 60, like, it is what it is. You, you got the numbers you got, and um, you got the number one spot, you know. He said they can't stop him. He said he was going to go on a long rant on Instagram, I suppose. Um, he was like, if you don't like me, unfollow me now because I'm, I'm about to hit a long rant on y'all. So, you know, he just seemed like he getting a lot off his chest and that, but, um, you know. He 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 need to tone it down, man, and just relax a little bit, man. He, he's he's going crazy right now. But it's I mean, for him, you know, him, Nikki, his people, good for them. You know, congratulations to them, man. You know, that's that's what it is. I I'm not a fan uh one way or another. So, you know, you do what he do, he's good at what he does, you know, so he he's rewarded, you know. A lot of money, you know, a lot of fans, a lot of, a lot of downloads, streams, broke uh, Instagram when he got out and did, and did that first live with $2 million. So, you know, he, he understands, you know, he understands what it is, what he is. He understands what he does well. And he understands, you know, when and where to, 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 to make certain moves. You know, uh, obviously, Nicki Minaj, she's right there with him because they did what they did. And uh, Akon did something with him. So, you know, I, I, and the thing is, that ain't going nowhere. He ain't, he ain't going nowhere because, you know, like, everything's changed. You know, the, the game is, is the game is going to the young kids that, like, these kids that's buying this music, they're not like, they didn't grow up like we grew up, you know, in the, in those streets or with no street code. He didn't either. So, and they know that, you know, they looking at their self in him. So it ain't like they looking at no, no thug. They not looking, they not looking at him like he's Gucci or nothing, you know? They ain't looking at him like he's Jeezy or nothing like that or 50. They looking at him as he's a little dude. He looked like me. I could put tattoos on my face. I could I could color my hair like a rainbow. And, and me and him will look exactly the same and make a lot of money, you know? So it just is what it is, man. I, I if and, and to everybody, to all the rappers and all that, I wouldn't get myself in no trouble behind him especially when you got it when you got a career that's flourishing or about to take off you know what i'm saying you i wouldn't get myself in no trouble over him you know because it, it, there ain't gonna be no static he just want to do his thing so just let him do his thing don't you know what i'm saying like i would i just wouldn't there's too much going on right now to get yourself in trouble over somebody that ain't really thinking about you. He just, he just bothering you. He's just like a little brother bothering you. He just wanna bother, bother you. I would just let him do his thing, man. I wouldn't bother him. I wouldn't get myself, like uh, Casanova did the right thing. Whatever, the, whatever little beef they had, you know, Cas just, he let that ride. You know what I'm saying? Like, he he looked at him, he looked at Takashi, and he was just like, yo, this not going to get me nowhere. This not going to get me no props. You know what I'm saying? This going to get me in trouble or get me back in jail. Like, look at everybody else that he was hanging with. Told on him, not in jail. So, I would let him ride. I would let him do his thing over there. Not that Nobody's a sucker or let him slide, but you're just going to get in trouble. You're just going to get in because he's going to cooperate with people that's going to get you, that's going to put you away. That's going to get you time. So you just, you better off just, just letting that dude, let him go his way, man, because he's not going to get in no trouble. You are. And, and then on top of that, you're going to look like the bully. 
you don't look like the bully, um, even getting into it with him, you know? So I would just let that ride, man. I would let that ride, you know? And like I said, his fan base, it's a lot of his fan base type, you know? It's, it's a lot of, it's a, his fan base is huge. Those little kids and, you know, that's huge. And then he got stuff that older cats might like. Yeah, they might like it. So that just adds on to his already huge fan base for some of the music that he put out. So, I, you know, let him do his thing, man, and just don't bother with him, man, because, you know, it's not, it's not really serious. You know, and, and, and especially he didn't do nothing to you. So, you know, you do you, a lot of dudes got kids and yada, yada. You don't want to, you know, I would just let it ride, you know. And um, so we're going to move on. We're going to stay in the, um, in the hip-hop genre to some grown-ups, you know, to some older, some, some OGs, man. <clears throat> so, um the other day, last week or something like that, about a week and a half ago, uh, Swiss and Buster was on was on the radio, you know, doing their thing, doing their thing, and uh, there was a song played with Drake and all and Buster and um, a couple more people on there, and um, you know, Swiss, Swiss, I, I, don't, I don't know what happened, man. He was um. He was just like, yo, called him a bussy, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't going to use the word he used, but, like, real disrespectful, man. He said it, like, three times, you know, and then Buster, you know, he, he yo, this is what happened. This is what it is. You know, this is this is how everything came about. You know what I'm saying? We, everything's good. And then um, one, one more time. One more time, he's still a bussy, man. Let's get it, or pop off, or something like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to misquote him, uh, you know, like I'm condoning, you know what I'm saying, getting no shit started, but um, boom. And then so, of course, it's Swiss and Buster on a live. So, of course, that's gonna, you know, of course, that's getting out. That's out in the, that's out on the airways. You know, um, and I guess Swiss probably, you know, somebody probably pulled him to the side like, yo, why you do that? Or, you know, they, they, they try to talk some sense into him probably. Um, so I guess he came out a couple of days later, you know, that ain't this, you know, that was the right platform to do it, no matter how I feel about it, sir. So it, it was, it was, it wasn't no apology to me. It was, um, I shouldn't have said it in that, in that setting, you know, what it seemed like to me. Cause it didn't really seem like no apology was, was given. Cause he said, no matter how I feel about somebody, that wasn't the right time to air it out, you know? Um, so I get it. So, you know, he apologized to his kids and, and, you know, the people that was on that live and probably even Buster more than anything, you know, for doing that. Cause Buster was on the song. So, you know, but um, he did that. He backtracked, you know, I ain't going to say backtracked on it because he really, like I said, he really didn't apologize, but he said what he said. And uh, uh, um, one of Drake's people, Chubbs from OVO, you know, he, he, he was like, yo, keep your apology, man. You know, whatever that, whatever that was, keep that, you know, and, and, and have that same energy when we see each other. Then he called him bussy, <laughs> you know? So hopefully they can, um, jump behind the scenes, man, and uh, hopefully they can jump behind the scenes and and, uh, and and do something. You know, they can uh, figure that out, man, because like I said, man, this is not the time 
for us to be doing all this, you know, and then two dudes on that level. You know what I'm saying? Two dudes. Them dudes is, them dudes is way up. Drake and Swiss Beats, them dudes is way up there, man. Um, this is not the time for it, man, with, all, with everything that's going on, you know? This is definitely not the time for it. You know, them dudes, them dudes got crazy, crazy, crazy influence, man. You know, Drake and uh, Swiss Beats got crazy influence. Swiss got the verses. He started the verses, him and Timbaland, you know? Um, that's what they should be talking about. They did a song together. You fancy, right? Fancy. Back in the day. Swiss need to be like, yo, jump on his verses. And, and you know what I'm saying? Let's break the internet. You know, throw him on there with somebody with, with a lot of hits because you throw Drake on there. You got to be somebody with a lot of hits. But maybe that's the reason why he was never asked to be on there because Swiss feel a certain way about him, you know? But uh, I wouldn't have really, I wouldn't have really uh, got into that. You know, I really wouldn't, I wouldn't have did all that. And, and on no platform. He didn't have to do that at all. You just keep your distance. I mean, you got enough money. Drake in Canada, you wherever you at, you, man, come on, man. Like, I don't know. And then he said he was nice. He, drink, he was drinking, but still, man, like, like you, you took it. You took it all the way to the, um, you know, you took it all the way to the, to the, to the next level with that, man. I don't feel like um, I don't know. I just don't feel like that was necessary at no time. You know what I'm saying? Not e not even just not even just like because y'all was on that um, was on that platform. That was just you know that was just a personal thing you got, and you ain't even gotta um, air that at all. You know, I'm pretty sure Drake know. You don't like him. You know, he probably don't like he Drake probably don't like Swiss. You know, but Drake bought his business. And Drake, oh, Drake don't care about that. Cause like I said, Drake didn't respond. You know? Drake didn't respond. So now we now that's gonna be something else, you know. That's gonna be something else. And then too, especially after the after the Father's Day weekend, you know that that we just had in Chicago. Not we, like I lived there, but uh, you know, black people. You know, hundred and fourteen people got shot, bro. That's hundred and fourteen people got shot in the in. The <sighs> bro, that don't even sound right. You know, kids, three-year-old got killed, and I'm and pardon me for forgetting his name, not having his name, you know, but um, that's just crazy. 114 people, that's crazy. Like, that's, wow, that's a lot, man. I mean, and, and you don't know where it stemmed from, um, uh, you know, gangs and all, you know, but, um, that's a lot, man. That's that's a lot. Even even in Charlotte last night, there was a shooting in Charlotte, like a like an active shooter. And people was out, you know, in the streets, you know, fireworks and all that. And then like four or five hundred people. And then somebody just came and started shooting in the crowd. So then there was a cop. Of course, of course, they're gonna take it too far. He had an assault rifle. And he's just running, just running up on people running up on people like bro like so you gonna bring you gonna do that to bring the cops back into it you know like you don't want them into it anyway because they don't need no reason clearly uh, you know clear as day they don't need no reason but you don't want to bring them you know you don't want to bring them into it you know <sighs> but yeah man between Charlotte and Chicago. This was a tough weekend. Father's Day weekend too. You know, it was tough, man. 
But um, then you know, you then then there's always there's always some type of humor. <laughs> you know, there's always some type of humor, man. You got um, Ja Rule did a did a commercial for some. I guess a Greek restaurant had to be because it was like a gyro commercial. I mean, <laughs> I ain't gonna clown him. I'm not gonna clown him, man, because he got to feed his family somehow. I don't know what else he got going on. I'm not, you know, say I'm not 100 percent sure. I ain't gonna dog him like that. That's just like um, Young Jock was driving an Uber. Um, Jaheen driving an Uber people going at them, but like, yo, they got, and these people, you gotta understand, these these men, these grown black men got children, got wives or whatever, women, there's a mother to the children. They gotta put some food on them tables, man. They gotta put some food on them tables. Ain't no, ain't no platinum and gold records coming in. Ain't no, ain't no, hundreds of thousands of streams coming in for them dudes, for them, the ones I just named anyway. Them dudes got to put food on them tables, man. So we can't really clown them for that, you know? Can't really clown them. You know, you can laugh, but sit down and think about it. That's, that's what they doing is real. You know? What they doing is real. What, like what can you say? What can you say? And then you know we go we go um, Yaya Mayweather. She did a TikTok. She pulled out a gun. Act like she was shooting it. Is that not bad taste? She don't got. She got all them um, followers over a million on. on she got family. She didn't grow up like Floyd Mayweather. She didn't grow up like her father, so she know better than to do certain stuff. She know better than to act a certain way. She, she well, maybe, because she's stabbing people, and look who, you know what I'm saying? Look, look who she's shacked up with. But um, that, that was just poor taste, man, to do it. You facing 99 years now. You facing... 99 years. Let's say it again. She's facing 99 years. So you got to be... You, you are considered a danger to the community somehow. <coughs> you, you stabbed this girl twice. And now you're doing TikTok videos with a gun. Bad taste, right? Maybe. Think. Poor taste on that. Somebody got a somebody got a haul at her. Somebody got a. She's so young. Somebody got to pull her in. Floyd got a. Floyd got a. Um. Floyd got to put his foot down. He got to sit her down. Don't move. Don't get up. Don't look away. And he gotta he gotta put his foot down. He gotta let her know, man, like, yo, the company you keeping ain't stable. The dude just had two kids the other day. <laughs> dude got six, seven kids, 20 years old, 21 years old. And none by her. So y'all together, and he's still having kids. So, I mean, I'm, I'm not understanding it. I ain't understanding it. You know? I'm not understanding it. You stabbing somebody he got kids with twice. You, you, so you facing 99 years for this, for him. And he having kids all over the place. I mean, I'm I'm just I don't know. I'm I'm just not getting it. I ain't getting it. I mean, somebody gotta tell us something, right? Somebody gotta tell us something. 
you know? And then not to mention, too, like, so his house got broken into, NBA young boy, his house got broken into. I guess they, they took the um, keys to the Rolls, to his Rolls Royce, to his McLaren, took the umbrellas out of the Rolls Royce, you know? Um, it was on, he was on some type of live with them going back and forth. <sighs> like, like the atmosphere around that, that young man, it's just, you know, I hope, I, I hope, I hope he can, um, I hope he can turn it around, man, because just the atmosphere around him is just like, it, it. he got all these kids, bro, like, it's a dangerous atmosphere around him. You know, he 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 looked angry. He looked angry a lot. He looked troubled. You know, it's just a bad atmosphere around him. You know, um, going at it with Kodak and like Kodak's locked up, bro. Like he's young, but he he gotta understand a lot of certain shit. You gotta let go, bro. Getting under your skin, man. letting it get under your skin. You know, you letting a lot of stuff get under your skin. And, um, you know, and, and he's a live wire. He's a live wire. So his stuff end up turning up. His keys and his uh, umbrellas or whatever end up turning up with Jay Prince. And he, he has Shakur Stevenson sitting there with him. Um, which was weird. He did a video. That was, that was, that, I didn't get, I didn't get it. I didn't get it. Um. But I guess, you know, the cats who, who who took the stuff, you know, they they um, you know, they probably didn't want no static. Probably, I, I don't know what the case was, they probably didn't want no static and then they hit um they they hit up I guess somehow Jay Prince got the stuff and um you know he made a video, got your stuff right here, the keys, your your umbrellas, you know. And um now I I agree with Young Boy on this. You could have you could have just you know my people. You said it. You know you go way back with some of my people. Get my phone number, bro. Yo yo, got your got your shit, man. Come grab this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, yeah, I didn't agree with that. I well, I just didn't get it why he made a video. You know. Shakur Stevenson in the video. I didn't get that. For sure. I didn't get that for sure. Um, that you know, I didn't get that for sure. But um, you know, I don't know what it is, man. But uh, it's just, it's just too much, man. It's 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 too much, you know. It's too much going on, and you know, it's a lot going on with this dude. You know, it's a lot going on with this dude. He just, like a lot of the situations he's in is, is just like, it's kind of it's kind of like dangerous situation that he's in, volatile situation. That's the word I was looking for, you know? Um, I don't know, man. He'll, he'll, he'll get it together. He'll get it together, man. He'll, so, and I, so I was um, looking at some other stuff too, man. Just just um, going through some stuff. <clears throat> so title, um, they admitted to faking um, some of Kanye West streaming numbers. I guess for twenty twenty eighteen, maybe the end of twenty eighteen, whatever. Whenever that album came out back then. But why they do that? I mean. And, and and then if you got away with it, so they probably admitted it because they got caught up. You know, they got caught up, man. But <laughs> all that's crazy. Like that that yeah, that don't make no sense really to me. You faking streaming numbers for one of the biggest, you know, one of the biggest artists in the world right now. You know what I'm saying? One of the biggest artists in the world and you and you um you faking streams for him. Like I don't think I don't I don't think that you know did him no harm or good, you know. Um, 
to, you know what I'm saying, faking them streams for Kanye West. I mean, he could sell, he could go platinum at any any given moment. You know, any album he make could just boom, blow up. You know, but then I see my man Mike Tyson. He um he made another video training. Yo, <laughs> I don't know. Yo, Mike Tyson look. Mike Tyson look, man. As good as he did when he was boxing before. Now, and I know, ain't no punches coming back, and he's just hitting the bag and hitting the mitts. Whatever. He's fifty three. He looked good, man. And and. I don't want him to box nobody um, that's a current professional. I don't I don't want him to do that. But uh, if he did, <laughs> yo, he'll probably lose, but they're going to have to get him out of there early. Like, and they're going to have to stay clear because them punches – Ain't light. Them punches coming with some with some velocity up behind them, you know. So um, I would just assume he stay in the. Uh, but the thing is, so here's the thing. So him, James, Tony, Evander Holyfield, and uh, Shannon Briggs. I, I heard something about Roy Jones, but um, you know they doing like I, I guess it was gonna be like some charity fights they were gonna do. And uh, I think he's probably, other than Shannon Briggs, because he looks like he's the only one that still got his shit, like his faculties together. I, I mean, Roy Jones got his faculties, but I don't think he's he's like big enough to to fight because Roy Jones is, is um, naturally was a crew was like a one seventy five. Like a, like a middleweight, super middleweight. So he's somewhere in there, but he wasn't. He went up that high, but him and James Tony. But James Tony was a bigger dude. Naturally, he was James Tony was struggling to make the weight down there, and um, cause he looked good. He showed power. He knocked out Holyfield when he went up there. He finished. He you know he he closed that fight. So, but uh, them dudes don't look as good as Mike Tyson though. Like they don't look like. Like I said, with the exception of Shannon Briggs, but he's he he's beat up. He's he's you know he's beat up. He took him. He took a lot of punishment, you know. But uh, so here's the dilemma: Mike Tyson is a little, he's he's above those exhibition type dudes, but I don't want him to go up to no to no current heavyweights, you know. I don't want that. I don't want that, you know. And is that is is that um somebody let me know in the comments. Is that um like like the uh the triple G well uh what's his name? Pacquiao wanting to go up to fight triple is that gonna be a thing or is the is the Danny Garcia Errol Spence even a thing? Cause now I'm hearing like, like I heard something that didn't sound like the fight was solid, like or the, or the fight was made. And then I hear Pacquiao and, and Bud Crawford. Then I heard Pac, um, I heard Bud Crawford and Ugas. Like, is any of these fights made, or is or is they just talking? Like, uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Y'all let me know, man. But like I said, man. Like I always say, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. It would be greatly appreciated, man. Drop a comment below. Like, share the video. Check the podcast, The Real Mojo, Point of View on Sports Reviews. Man, we on Anchor, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Breaker, Apple Podcasts, um, just we we out here moving, man. We out here moving, man. Check me. Hit the hit the uh, Instagram DM for some merch, man. The real underscore mojo underscore. We doing it, man. We out here. We doing it, man. We trying to make moves. Trying to make a difference. Like I said, we are gonna be in a new space, 
in a couple of weeks. Um, I'm trying to I'm trying to take it to an, another level, you know. Um, just trying to just trying to do it, man. Just trying to do something, man. I, I actually um, enjoy doing this, and um, we're gonna try to take it to another level, man. I have a good night, though. Peace.